typically what I have found best is I think this is one of the things that a live meeting is really necessary for. So what I found in my last company in this one is there's just a weekly meeting with finance. You've got an agenda, right? For our size and stage, it is really more about going through line by line and each role and like where we're at, how close we are to filling it, what our projected start date is, because those are the numbers that finance really needs. It doesn't cost them anything until there's a person in that seat and payroll's getting kicked in versus on the recruiting side. It's everything leading up to that is our work. And so it's really about giving them current updates. And then also it's a chance for recruiting to articulate what they're seeing in the market. I think back to my time at Postscript and for whatever reason, we were hiring for a head of demand gen and it seemed like a role that everybody was hiring for in the market their compensation was going up, up, up from where it had been a couple of years ago. So even the comp data we had and CARTA, PAVE, Option Impact, all of those tools that are out there was a little bit outdated. And so it's having those meetings and, and then getting to reset expectations with financing. Hey, we had scoped this budget for the role. I have spoken to six candidates and we are 20% below what every single one of them said. And yes, that's a small data set, but for certain roles, you're only going to have small data sets. And so it allows for that dialogue and then finance to do all they need to do in their budget planning. And then for recruiting to either understand, hey, we need to either rescope the role because we don't have the budget. And then recruiting can go off and work with the hiring manager and the hiring team to make sure that they're resetting their expectations. Or the finance says, okay, we're going to increase this budget. And it just allows for no surprises. And so I think those weekly conversations, and they can just be 15 minutes. And I think keeping that meeting small is also really critical. So those are the types of meetings I would not pull my entire recruiting team into. I would make sure I'm cascading that information down because I think part of a recruiting leader is growing other recruiters to learn why those conversations are important. But you don't want to have too many cooks in that kitchen because it will block you to getting to a realistic outcome. So you want to make sure that the stakeholders who are the decision makers are the ones that are in the room.